Okay, to be honest, I want to do this one because it looks so damn cute. But I think I need to do Ruan Maze first because he's almost up. I honestly don't know who Ron Mei actually is. I just know she's hot. Ron Mei. A name that's both new and familiar. In the simulated universe, I think, right? There's a card that's called Ruan Mei, right? I thought member four, Poka Kakamon, had gotten rid of most of the society members. I didn't have a lot of hope for this. Oh, look who's here. Poka Kakamon? You're back! <laughs> Uh, there's quite the crowd here today. I, I didn't really see a lot of people though. Of course! This is a summit between three geniuses. W where's the people? It's a special time. All departments are preparing to welcome distinguished guests from the Genius Society. Madame Ronmay doesn't like fanfare and probably wouldn't appreciate a crowd to welcome her, so I asked the researchers to keep things simple. Ah, I see. I took her to see the portraits of the society members a few days ago. I wanted to have the researchers make one for her as well, but she declined the offer. I think I need to make the background noise a little bit more silent because I think it's more stronger than the voice lines. I don't get it. <laughs> Whatever. As long as she's happy. I heard Miss Ron May like snacks and pastries, so I asked the researchers to prepare some traditional desserts from the blue. All of them seem to tickle her fancy. Hmm. Mona, would I be able to meet Ruanme or is Ruanme a great person? Well, that's like asking, is Herda a great person? <laughs> the answer is obvious. Maybe. Miss Ronme is the very image of a scholar. I heard she once took a little vacation on a desert planet. By the time she left, she'd miraculously created a boom in the local ecology. What the f- She just wanted somewhere uninhabited to experiment with her life spiral system. Ruan Mei is certainly very talented, but she hardly interacts with anyone. She lives like a hermit. Pity. Dude, w what about you? You're, you're more of a hermit. Anyway, what more needs to be said for someone smart enough to become Herda's research partner, hmm? Hurry up and head out! Huh? See if you can find her. Ugh. <sighs> I'm not sure, but she doesn't seem to get around much. She spends most of her time between the master control zone and the railway platform. Maybe you can start your search there. How about just give me an actual location? Curtis surveillance team? Who the hell are these people, dude? Why is Mune and Take ultimate to the face? When the stars have been ingenuity shine okay i need to fix the audio thing miss ronne is the very image yeah 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 shut up there's someone next to the railway platform could she be i have a feeling you're on the right track i'll check the data when i get back <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's either sexual harassment or she's trying to riz me. What the what, what the fuck? Hello. I hope I didn't startle you. I mean, does harassment and rizzing someone count as startling? I, I don't know. Depends. This is a work habit of mine. Using touch to open my senses and letting the details of your biological existence flood into my brain helps me understand your construction as a living organism. Ah, uh, so you now know from just touching me that I have cancer that's making me alive. Such is the basis of deconstruction and reconstruction. Do not be concerned. You are very healthy. In fact, impeccably so. A perfect experimental specimen. I like perfect experimental specimens. There's a bit of corn in your mouth? Okay, there's- oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Oh, really? There isn't now, but there was in the animation. Oh my god. I'm currently sick. I expect the views here had me lost in thought. Did you clean it? 
I don't usually go in and out of the space station and only discovered today that it was blessed with such calm, open views. It is a wonderful fit for the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossoms, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Sounds like you're just hungry. Come here. Look. The blue planet is directly below us. It is so full of life. This dessert is very delicious. Here, take half. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. D don't mind me. Um, take a bite? Okay, now, now I'm just curious. I think you're testing me. You called me an experimental specimen. So if I don't eat it, I feel like you're going to call me that I don't like sweets. So I'm gonna eat it because I do like sweets. It's also free food, so I'd be an idiot to reject it. Delicious desserts remind people of how flowers look when they bloom. Ingest this dessert one bite at a time, and the sweetness will linger in your mouth. Hmm. I hope you like it too. I don't know. You ate Ron May's snack? That was a gulp, dude. So, what do you think? I can certainly prepare more for you. It's become somewhat of a tradition to bring strawberry pastries when I visit Stephen Lloyd. His attendance seems quite dependent on them. Stephen Lloyd? Stephen Lloyd? Is, is he like the green ninja? Hmm. An outstanding dessert. Ten grams of cubed sugar, one dried and salt preserved plum blossom. Baking and cooking are the same as nurturing a universe. The heat must be controlled, planning must be meticulous, and one must not panic. No matter what happens. Um, what if the kitchen burns down? Unfortunately, there are still too many people in the space station. The clamor is not fitting for desserts. By the way... What? Do you remember what my research is about? No, to be honestly, no. Uh, it's about biology? Oh. No, my research area is short stories about toilets. <laughs> <laughs> what the f- Okay, I was shocked that the Stella actually spoke, but that, is, that was not what I expect her to say. What's going on? What am I talking about? Bro, most definitely, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I see. What a cute hobby. No. Are you mind fucking me? But remember, the next time something like this happens, it's crucial to mask your expression until you've ascertained the situation. If not, you'll be full of weaknesses that others can see through. Dude. No. Let's try again. Now, what else would you like to ask? Hmm, let's ask some questions that will make her feel discomforted, uh, disgusted of us, so... Okay, yeah, what did you feed me? The dessert was tasty. I would like more. Did, did you just answer your own question? What? <sighs> Why can't I say what I want to say? Ah, oh, nah, she mine. Oh, there's the toilet. <laughs> you have quite the appetite. Alright, I'll give you the recipe. Thanks. Come and have a walk with me. A stroll is the most appropriate post-dessert activity. Nah, dude, you're mind fucking me. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like in the no man's land I've entered to in the past. Can you imagine a completely lifeless world? Yes. From there, you can glimpse the stars that lie at the very edge of the horizon. Following its celestial trajectory, the Great Teal Star illuminates an endless sea of white across both the sky and land. My mother and I navigated calm glaciers, looking for signs of life on that world. And Can you walk slower, please? Phenomena. It was like finding the single correct piece in a mountain of jigsaw pieces. And the process was oh, we're so coordinated. And what the hell? Difficult. But it was touching and enthralling as well. My apologies. It appears my words have left you perplexed. Please, don't be on edge. I bear no ill will. I haven't interfered with your linguistic faculties. Such an act would be impolite. I merely made a minor adjustment. So you were mind fucking me. 
A few days ago, I made my interest in you known to Herta. My intention is for you to serve as an assistant. Based on our interactions within the simulated universe, I firmly believe you fit the bill. Bro, M Herta knew about this? Bro. I find extending trust beyond myself is challenging. A single error in detailed research can generate issues, and I despise matters that escape my control. Therefore, I added anti-truth serum to this dessert. It Bro. will not harm you. However, you will be unable to say what you truly think when answering questions related to me. Fine then. Treat it as a layer of protection. This will shield my research and your personal safety. Once the problems have been dealt with, I'll give you the antidote. Bro, you're 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 taking me hostage. You're black. You're black. Okay, fuck you. I can also reward you as compensation for being my assistant. I will fulfill your every wish. Hmm. Problems. You don't trust me. I'm still upset. Um. Uh. Um. Um. You don't trust me. Does that bother you? I believe we will be able to be frank with each other, but that needs time. Bro. The first thing you do is drug me, and now you're doubting me? Why did you get mad? When I first arrived on the space station, I borrowed the face flame from Herta. It's an invention of member number 29 circle. I hope to be enlightened by other society members' results. Okay, I feel like that's how circle is supposed to be spelled. A surge of creativity led me to explore the cultivation of life on the space station. In my imagination, these life forms would be a new variety that are born as geniuses. I plan to name them after Lambda, member number 8 of the Genius Society. Bro, wh what the fuck is this names? Isn't Lambda a math mathematical thing? I don't know where it went wrong. They possess their own sentience, but are nowhere near geniuses. Moreover, my free-range approach seems to have backfired. In a lab leak incident a few days ago, some of these little life forms ran away and scattered all over the space station. I do not wish for Herta or Asta to be involved in this. Therefore, I'm hoping you can assist in recovering these little life forms. So I'm cleaning up your mess. You can try trusting me, you know? I do trust you. No, you don't. Uh, why didn't you want them to know? This has nothing to do with them. Besides, the more people involved, the more problems there will be. Okay. The researchers are still treating these entities as visitors. I want to steer clear of making my presence known, so as not to cause undue disturbances. I entrust this to you. Once the little life forms are collected, simply find a proper place for them. The researchers in the Department of Ecology should know about this and provide you with suitable advice. Okay, so you're just leaving me. As the masses depart, there's an enveloping calm here. Just like the no man's land I've ventured to in the past. Is it the desert? Yes. My mother and I once spent 11 long polar nights there. How long is polar nights long? What? A place where the space station stores dangerous experimental results? Uh, yes. Why would anyone want to know that? Wait, did someone send you here to try to get things out of me? I mean, technically, yes. I'm not doing any private business on the space station. I have absolutely no knowledge of any special hiding places. And I certainly haven't sold any old junk rare treasures or discarded curios or anything like that. Hmm, well, why specify what did you not do? Uh, Run may ask me to do this. You're so cute! Can I get an autograph? Ew, what the f- So, I really can't say anything about her. Autograph? What are you on about? You're freaking me out! Bro, shut up. I won't talk to you if you don't tell me why you're here. Can I write it down? I heard there are some problems on the space station. Arun May is asking me to recover the- Okay. I feel like some fun things are going to come out if I talk about Run May. I'll solve the space station's problems. So, 
I really can't say anything about her. Oh, that. You've got pretty good contacts if you know that already. The space station is a mess. Everyone's already swamped as it is. And now out of nowhere, there's a bunch of little creatures popping up. Hmm. If you want to solve the problem, go check out the storage zone. Then you'll understand. Okay, at least you weren't being a dick about it. There's so many people. This seems to be the place. Hmm. Is this what I should touch? It is. Hey, guess what I got my hands on? Word on the street is that this is the downgraded version of Ron May's life cultivation formula. It says, 10 carats of ingenuity, one ton of practice, 30 particles of starquake, and a few drops of poisonous liquor for Madame Yu Tintu. Rumor has it that it once created a talking chair. Not a particularly intelligent one, but boy, did it have a sharp tongue. They dismantled it and used it for firewood. Can you believe it? Um, I don't know. Sh sure, nerd. Let's give it a shot, shall we? First things first, we need to pick up the ingredients. Uh, constantly burning passion, a confidence that came out of nowhere, courage to drink two bottles of Kapokali in one go. So love, egotism, and alcoholism. Hmm. We need to add some other good stuff in, yeah, but don't go overboard. Don't judge me. IQ, EQ, <laughs> intelligent, socially uh, smart, or fucking beautiful. I don't want to make Argenty, so I just want to be EQ. Mm. And now we mix them together. <laughs> Wait, it says on the recipe, Ron May makes different expressions when nurturing life. Ron May's frown, uh, the corner of Romany twitches. What? Suppressing her emotions is expressionless. Um, when she looked at me, she was expressionless, so. Yikes. Take a look at what you just cultivated. Oh no. What did I do? Oh, what the fuck? Phase flame. Now, should I kill it? I feel like I should kill it. Hee hee. What? Wait, was was that not the thing I'm supposed to? What? Why am I here? Oh, you Molten you guys. Cheese tart is the best. Its outlook is infectious. Its positive mood has influenced us all. What's our slogan again? One. Stop complaining. Change your attitude and use the delicious molten cheese tart to stop the flow of negative energy. What's two? Two. Oh. Energize yourself, increase your capacity for action, and walk on the path of a molten cheese tart's absolute conviction. Okay, now what's three? Our creed, molten cheese tart is the best. Is that three? Who is molten cheese tart? Oh, praise be. You don't know? Molten cheese tart is Madame Ron May's top fan. This is how it preaches. Those who offer their love are expressing admiration and affection for Miss Ron May. So it's a sim. What about Scroolum's followers? What about Steven? Who the fuck is Steven? Scroolum. Scroolum's cool. Oh, let me tell you something. Mr. Scroolum's followers are all very logical, but they're just awaiting the arrival of the mechanical aristocracy. <clears throat> Since you're so interested, I'll tell you how to secure an audience with the honorable molten cheese tart. You'll need to work hard to get there. You need to plaster hearts wherever Madame Ron May has been. If you're sincere enough, the honorable molten cheese tart will show itself. <laughs> so I should put a heart on my face? Excuse me, what am I supposed to do? What? S spray graffiti and a target. Okay. Graffiti types. Uh, area. Okay. Only eight graffiti can be exist simultaneously. Okay. Wait, was that not also the thing I'm supposed to do? Are you, are you supposed to be the ones? Ron May, member 81 of the Genius Society, a resounding name in science and the veritable epitome of life form cultivation. 
Researchers here have heard so much about her for so long. But once she arrived on the space station, she just took over everything. And what did Madame Hurt to do? Absolutely nothing. Are you spoiling run, mate? Yeah. Never fear! The Galactic Baseballer is here! Bro, fuck me. I can't even say that? What the f Oh my god. Who am I supposed to talk to? What does the blue heart mean? I don't know. I heard Madame Ronme is very picky when it comes to snacks. Uh, do you know what her favorites are? Um, run me like plum blossom. I don't yep. know about her, but I love fermented herring. So I really can't say anything about her. Did I ask about your favorites? Also, that's disgusting. What's wrong with you? Bro, fuck you. It's called having taste, and I don't even like fish. Ron May likes to listen to the space station radio during her research. Ah, <sighs> some of us younger researchers are her super fans. We're always scanning different frequencies to find out what her tastes are. Do you know her favorite tunes by any chance? Ron May likes to listen to op- What? Okay, I'm confused. Mm, no idea. I just listen to comedy skits. Okay, honestly, I'd agree. So, I really can't say- Yeah, yeah, yeah you can't expected. talk shit about her. You look like you belong in a comedy skit yourself. Fuck you. But you're not wrong. Oh. Oh. Is that the only one? Or should I also put a blue one here? There we go. Is that correct? No. What the fuck? What? Am I supposed to spray everything here? What? Make it equal parts. Oh. Four parts to- oh my god, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh my god. I'm stupid. Um, so this- Looks like a sack. Is the little life form Run May made? What the fuck did he do to a dog? A researcher appears out of nowhere next to you. I am humbled to meet the molten cheese tart. <gasps> this is cheese tart? It doesn't look molten or cheese or tart. What the fuck? W where did it get molten cheese tart? What are you frozen in place for? Oh, you don't understand the honorable tart. That's okay. No worries for situations like this. We've specifically concocted a synesthesia beacon. Active that synesthesia beacon. Makaka, I'm a genius. A genius among geniuses. Wait, is is Stella the voice actor? Oh my god, did um immediately reactivate the specific synesthesia beacon. That was way too risky. What why? Why why was it risky? That that's purring. Oh, Molten Cheese Tot says Madame Ronme has finally recognized my ingenuity. How the hell did you understand it? Okay, I don't understand. How the hell is that purring? Molten Cheese Tot says, Does Madame Ronme recognize me as a masterpiece? Probably not. Molten Cheese Tot says, Madame Ron May still has not recognized me as a life form that passes the requirements. I need to work harder. Oh, such an enthusiastic Molten Cheese Tot. There's a kind of attachment reserved for the creator. To the world, you are but one person. But to me, you are the entire world. Oh, Madame Ron May. Okay, this thing's a simp. Hey, you! Yes, you! Don't you have anything you want to say to Molten Cheese Tart? You should at least express how you would like to follow Molten Cheese Tart. We wouldn't want to mistake you for an agent of Grey Bean Paste, would we? Oh my god, who the fuck is Grey 
bean paste. There's no way Rue and Mei would like you. Okay, I'm just gonna insult everyone now. You heartless dessert! Oh. I almost forgot. I can't say anything about Run Mei. I did not forgot. Forget. I did not. You! Shh! Quiet! Shut up. Oh, the honorable molten cheese tart may have a crispy exterior, but deep down inside it's incredibly sensitive and delicate. What do you mean, crispy exterior, dude? It looks like if I punch it, it would bend over. It's working so hard just to get Madame Ronmei's attention! Well, that that's just being a simp, dude. You see, the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has always been fighting against gray bean paste in terms of flavor. The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart is a firm believer that people's lives need to be optimistic. They both hope to receive Madame Ron May's recognition and have been working so hard. How did Ron May make dessert into light forms? Um, oh, wait, is this her dessert? You need to call it the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart. Fuck you. Mm, it's genuinely puzzling. Despite Molten Cheese Tart's remarkable qualities, why hasn't Madame Ron May acknowledged it? It's clear that it yearns for her love. What kind of love, though? It's simping, dude. It's one-sided. Love from the creator to her creation? Familiar love? Doesn't sound right. Romantic love? Definitely not. I don't know. Expecting me to understand love is like asking me to map the farthest reaches of the universe. Remember, as long as love is your compass, you're on the right track. And in the wise words of the Honorable Molten Cheese Tart, love must be shouted from the rooftops. Can I talk alone with Molten Cheese Tart? That, that depends if the Honorable Tart agrees to it. Hmm, seems like you fucked up. <laughs> oh? The Honorable Molten Cheese Tart has agreed! It wasn't offended when you called it an Honorable Tart? But you tried communicating with Ron May's creation and get away. Get it away? What? We tried to kidnap this shit? Oh. Oh, there's a toilet. Are you serious? Think I think you're lying. What? Hmm, extremely safe. Hmm, fuck that. Oops, wrong side. Fucking- oh my god. So we're here on the toilet. You realize Ron May's creation cannot be put in at all. Dude, I, I still can't believe that's how a purr is. It opens its innocent eyes w wide. You now have to explain to it that this has to be done in order to send it back to Runmei's side. Uh, confess why you're stirring up trouble on the space station or confess you like molten cheese tarts. Hmm. I'm trying to be an idiot, so. We're not getting at all. It seems to believe that this is a flavor that can bring happiness. How did we understand it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It seems resentful for being an unqualified life form. Hmm. Oh my god, how can we understand? It seems eager to achieve great things. It wants to fully embrace its own philosophy and is inviting you to join in. Hmm. Cults are no cult. I choose religion. You have to be firm, believing this is the best place for it. Uh, tenderly activate the <laughs> border. Why tenderly? Jesus Christ. Uh, callously active. I'm gonna do tenderly because tender loving embrace is always a good thing, right? Oh no, Ruan Mei's little Ruan Mei's little life form was ruthlessly flushed down in the John. The John. It will be safely transported to the storage zone. Hmm. Ooh, Ruan Mei. 
uh, cupcake how's your progress sorry to interrupt come back first and an emergency is come up that requires your help hmm is this going to be manual labor you're here Herta called Skrulem and I to the space station to discuss some important topics. She also sent an invite to Steven, but he didn't reply and Herta didn't seem to want to wait any longer. Bro want to meet Steven? Seems like a smart dude. And now? I wish for you to attend this meeting with me. Hmm, made me your dog and want to serve you some coffee for something? I don't want Herta to worry herself over these frivolous matters, even though she probably wouldn't care anyway. Okay, so you know about that, so why do you even have to ask me? Just in case, I want someone who will be on my side. In other words, you. So you really just wanted a dog? Help me. It'll be easy. Just remember, my secret stays with you, don't pry too much, and keep your expressions in check. Hmm, sure. Alright, let's go. I honestly don't have a choice. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're here too? Looks like you two have become quite friendly. Hmm, if only I wasn't being threatened. It's good to see you, madam. Affirmation. Madam? This reunion has happened earlier than my calculations predicted. Madam? When, when did you call me madam? Though you weren't invited, I welcome you to remember this historical moment. How long has it been since three geniuses were in the same room together? And how long will we have to wait for it to happen again? <laughs> Excuse me, four geniuses. Excuse you, Herda. Affirmative. Discounting our discussions on the simulated universe, our interactions are scarce. I look forward to the innovative ideas that may emerge from this juxtaposition of minds. Yes, juxtaposition, I know that word. Uh, cheer passionately or bow politely? I think this is going to be awkward, so I'm gonna cheer. <laughs> yes, good thing. Let me get straight to the point. I think it's time to find another partner for the simulated universe. Ah, fuck. You wish to kick Steven out? What? Of course not. Steven doesn't want to get involved and voted to abstain. Oh, whatever. Look, I respect the way people want to live, but he doesn't have the chance to be involved in this decision making anymore. Question. Are we introducing a fifth partner for the simulated universe? Hmm. Seems like you finally realize that I'm also a genius. Yes, a fifth genius. And I'm already here. The reason for our gathering is clear to everyone present. What else could prompt such a gathering of brilliant minds except for the answer? No one can refuse the secret of the eons. Not even Xandar. We'll definitely get a response. What if the responder is Polka Kakamond? Huh. That'd be great! Hey, Lord of Silence, are you listening? I'm member number 83, Herda, and I want to meet you. I believe you and I will have a lot to talk about. It's unlikely we'll hear from Polka Kakamond. She's been off the grid for quite some time. Ooh, Polka Kakamond is a her. Probability, member number 64, Dr. Primitive, may appear. Dr. Primitive? What? I thought his name was Dr. Ratio. That's a hard pass. Given Dr. Primitive's shady research practices and his tussle with the Galaxy Rangers, the IPC will surely turn this into a media circus. He can get lost. I'd prefer it if the simulated universe remained scandal-free. Galaxy Rangers? What? What about you, Chingdu? Are you still in touch with her, Ronmei? Is she still alive? Oh, oh. What about you, Chingdu? Oh, I, I was confused. I, I thought Herta was talking about Ronmei, and I don't know why, but I thought uh, Herta called Ronmei Chingdu, so I got confused, but... Yu Ching Tu is an entirely different person. Can we ask her to leave if we are to discuss this topic? The process will be long and boring. There's no need to take up other people's time. Hmm. Huh. Aren't you thoughtful? Of course! You brought her in after all. It's up to you. You may fuck all off. Alright. Let me walk you out. O okay, I can leave on my own. 
What the heck is this? Oh, is that Ruan Mei Part Two or Part Seems One? Seems like a programming error. I've encountered that before. <sighs> this fragment of Ruan Mei. Have you seen it in the simulated universe before? Yes. The simulated universe is my home. Oh, fuck. <sighs> I, I forgot. I forgot about the drug. I'm speaking nonsense again. It's fine. You always do that anyway. It's probably an isolated glitch. Hmm, fine. I'm used to turning a blind eye to these things. It makes life easier. I am curious, though. Are you gonna keep it, Rane? I mean, it's a pretty good chip. I, I don't really care about the occurrence. It's pretty good. <laughs> I probably will. Records indicate she likes this occurrence. I do. Alright, I agree. As long as it helps you with your research, you can do whatever you want. Come along. I'll see you out. Yes. It appears I was overthinking things. Impulsive behavior is pretty characteristic of her after all. This doesn't seem like the exit. Thankfully, it, it was, was a minor scare. Still, meetings give me such a headache. It seems I'll have to stay put for a while. I see that you've recovered the life form in the master control zone. Thank you. Well done. Hmm. Give me a treat. Uh, I didn't end up saying anything. Is there something I should hear? Uh oh. Okay, I shouldn't hear. Okay. I was simply being overly cautious. It is a habit of mine. Apologies. No, it's fine. I I already know an overly cautious hero. There are some things that I must tell you now. If I wait for the meeting to finish, then it might be too late. The retrieval of my life forms isn't complete yet. There's more than just one, and some are stored in a sealed zone. Herta uses that place to welcome visitors from across the stars, or to welcome members of the Genius Society. However, due to the Legion's invasion, it is no longer open to the public. And now my headache is stored there. Oh, uh, there are other zones in the space- Oh, are there? There's much you don't know about the space station, and even more about Herta. But there is some information I can give you. That place is also used to welcome non-humanoid visitors, and has a shuttle that connects to outer space. I'm giving you my access card. Give me your hand, and I'll input your fingerprint into it. Stay vigilant, assistant. Should you come across a threat you can't handle, just alert me. I'll come to your aid no matter what. You sure? Remember, there is a giant incubator in the middle of the zone. That's where my headache is stored. Okay. Once you're back, come find me on the railway platform. Then you'll understand everything. Okay, we were given a job. What would a sealed zone look like? I don't know, sealed? Ooh, animation. Dude, I did not realize there's going to be more in the space station. Dude, we did not bring a flashlight or anything. Are you are you sure? Oh, it's a, oh, it's missing an arm. Oh no. Oh no, it's gone. Oh shit. It gone rogue. Oh fucking elevator oh shit we're gonna die yeah we did not bring a flashlight we are idiots how dare I call us genius eyes dude you can see the emotions that's what really really is cool about that let's see oh straight line oh it's called the seclusion zone Oh, there's more layers, I see. I'm gonna venture a bit, because this is my first time visiting this place. Okay, so what about you, little robot? Buzz. Buzz. What's up with this unit? It looks different from the one in the master control zone. Are you sure? Buzz. Madam Herta. Open zone. Buzz. To welcome alien species. Galactic visitors. What? Robot frying cold rice? What? Did I name that? High risk zone. 
Buzz. Service staff. Inorganic life forms. Buzz. Permission status. Madam Ron May. Permissions granted. Madam Herta. Fine. As long as it keeps her happy. Buzz. Okay. I feel like that's automated. So, uh, what's this zone for? Class 1. Clearance zone. Buzz. Many esteemed guests. Buzz. May include dangerous persons. Buzz. Person, so plural. Storage for Madame Herta's dangerous curios. Buzz. Madame Ron May's cultivated life forms. Buzz. Welcome, Buzz. Visitor, how can I help? Dude, nothing. Screwlum hid nothing, bro. Screwlum's a good man for hiding nothing in the forbidden zone. Uh, classification of other robot jobs. What? Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Oh. Fry leftover rice, Buzz. Welcome, visitor. What? Okay, okay. Uh, where could would I? Where could I find the incubator? Conclusion: You cannot enter. Probability: fifty percent. Other paths are open. Assessment: Seeking directions, Buzz. Suggestion: Proceed to basement. Locate records of cultivation path. Buzz. Wait, so either way, I'm going to go... Wait, so either choice, I would still end up going to the basement. Okay, I don't know. Ah, oh, dude, this shit's cool. A bigger elevator. Damn. Oh, dude, you can see more of the planet. That's nice. Okay, chest. Always nice to see one. Okay, is that the incubator? I don't know. Oh, is this the incubator? Okay, I don't know what an incubator is. The kindling for the face flame is fascinating. Unfortunately, before the research could be completed, it vanished. I've initiated new attempts. The growth status of the two samples this time is promising. I incorporated personal taste preferences into the concept. But I'm uncertain about the outcome of such an action. They simultaneously possess two sets of emotional traits. They are at once cute, weak, sentimental, and sensitive. Yet are also fierce, instigating, demanding, and confident. Okay, sounds like a human. Interestingly, they also possess a kind of... inclination. A yearning for... Their creator. Simps. It manifests as a natural, inherent emotion, similar to that of a baby towards its mother, life towards sustenance, or the peculiar bond between humans. Okay, does that mean Ron May is a MILF now? Huh? What's that sound out there? Hmm, sounds like purring. What is that? Oh, it's this! Okay, honestly, it makes sense why it purrs now. <laughs> this is the headache Runmei mentioned? It's just a different flavor. What? what is it mocha or something? <coughs> Green, be Gray bean paste. Wh where's the gray? Are you hiding in the dessert or you're pretty- okay. <coughs> it claims to be connected with its shell. I see. Bro, that's a jelly ass shell. It looks deeply distressed, crying profu- Is it crying? Activate the syn synesthesia bacon. <laughs> I'm not one of Run May's recognized works. <laughs> Shut up. Too much negative energy. Give energy. <laughs> okay, I apologize for my previous statement. Uh, you are a genius in your own way. Run away. <laughs> Jesus Christ, all of them are fucking simps. Jesus. It seems to believe that its emotional inf infectiousness is also quite genius. What? Are you sobbing or meowing? What the f- Why? Why am I a failure? 
Ah. Uh, keep it up, dude. Everyone experienced that. Now shut the hell up. Oh, you gaze at Runway's creation, which appears to be waiting sadly for Runway to come get it. A hint of compassion tugs at your heart. What's that noise? Fuck. Um, follow me. It'll be okay. I need to find a place for this little one. That sound seems to be from that locked room. How do I get in? You have a baseball bat. I okay, okay. I think that's not efficient because it's not a crowbar. Ooh, a chest. <laughs> What? It seems to sense your fear and starts humming a, a song for you? What? It sends my fear? Ooh, another chest. In a circle, Ruin meets creation, join hands with each other. What? Ruin may intertwines joy and sorrow. Okay, forgot what song that is. <laughs> Da, 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 da. What the fuck is this? Oh fuck! Da, 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 da. Run me, run me, why do you not turn back to look at us? Oh, it's ABCD! What the f- I'm a fucking idiot, it's ABCD! What the hell am I- Oh! Oh! Dodge and weave, dodge and do what? Dodge and weave, dodge. Run me, run me. Where does your path lead? Oh, oh, it's over there. Is there no place for us where you're going? <gasps> no! I never imagined there'd be so many of them. Come on, it's just five. Ooh, a chest. <gasps> you're here too. Seems like this is the other end of that one-way path. What this? Where's the toilet? The final days that member number 23, Acha, spent in the mechanical city showed me that even the longest of lives, such as hers, have a limit. So 23 died? I'm now certain that the outcome of this cultivation is... failure. Life can exist in thousands of different forms, which means the form itself has no purpose. These life forms are very advanced in their own concepts and can even trigger chain reactions such as synesthesia. But that is not what I desire. I'm starting to feel lost. Perhaps the question, what is the essence of life? Never had an answer. Member one, Sandar, have you ever felt this lost? Hmm. Seems like Ruan Mei has depression or something. Oh, is it still Are with you us? Telling me to keep going? Ooh, a chest. Oh fuck. Okay, that was a fucking. Oh my god. Okay, that was a bit unfair. That was a fucking jump scare. Holy shit! I just wanted to go through the door. Life is countless and varied in form. I firmly believe in that. Its beauty is like a myriad of flowers and I want to pluck the one that never wilts. The patterns of all things always have complicated and enchanting exteriors, while their inner essences remain simple and plain. If we were to trace things back to their roots, just one equation would be enough to solve the confusion of all life. Ever since I was a child, I have always delighted in observing aspects of microscopic creatures, such as the speed with which slime molds devour objects. I have also gazed far and wide across the macroscopic world, investigating the progress of the universe up to this day. It was all very simple. Hmm. I don't know why, but that just sounds like a brag. I wish to discover the true essence of life, something that all individuals possess unknowingly, whether it is the materialism of their existence or an unknown entity beyond corporeal realms. <sighs> to avoid blind faith in science, I cautiously raised a query. Would Ram May be able to peel away external influences? Just like pinpointing a coordinate, 
Would she be able to uncover life's most primordial and beautiful form of existence? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach. And that is... Is me. Meow. Oh, it's a meow. Um, where am I supposed to go then? What does that... Okay, this place is fucking haunted. Oh, it's a toilet. A better toilet. Is it a toilet? Yeah. Meow? Read the record. The duration of sunlight exposure is a crucial factor affecting mood. Basking in starlight has been proven to be an effective method to alleviate negative emotions. Hmm. Sounds fitting. Accommodate the gray bean paste. Uh, stay here for a bit. Can we see it? Where's the gray? Oh, that's the gray bean paste. Is that a dog? Did something just open? Seems like it. No, it's a fucking ghost, dude. Don't, don't, don't make me come. This place is... Ooh, a chest. Okay. Oh, it's the robot. Hidden room. Buzz. Only Madame Ron May has permissions. Please submit your ID. Buzz. Ron... Show Ron May's card. Permissions granted. Buzz. <laughs> Let's go. Select from the below services. One. Check historical incubation records. Two. Inorganic lifeform companionship chat service. Ah, oh, dude, they have a GC. Damn. Uh, inorganic. Okay, this I'm gonna do this. This has been damaged. Buzz. Okay, don't tempt me. If the if it doesn't exist, uh, check historical incubation records. Is this? Is this what? I thought of one life form that would truly lie beyond my reach, and that is an emanator. What is that? I cannot comprehend what an emanator is. I don't even know what that is. Scholars view them as the executors of the Eon's power. So, when did it begin? And at what point did they become closer to the Eon than any other life form? At first, I tried to create a genius. I failed. That question has no solution yet, and a long journey of discovery still lies ahead. What do you mean you tried creating a genius? However, erudition isn't the only path in the universe. If we set logic aside, would there be more primitive and pure emanators on other paths? Of course there would be. Daisy Ron. I was able to see the beginning and end of the swarm disaster through the simulated universe, obtain data on the Imperator and Sectorum and their descendants, replicate them, nurture them, and create a brand new scientific discipline. It is a logical decision. I will certainly succeed. The entity that I reconstruct will bloom into a life never before seen. Okay, I don't know why. No, it, no, not not. I don't know why, but before Ruan Mei look, before you know who Ruan Mei is, you'll think that ooh, she's a pretty. I'm sure that there's already uh, arts of her, but if you know her, dude, she's just a fucking mad scientist. Will Herta and Skrulum like this experiment? No. Most likely not. Therefore, before they realize what I am doing... Ah, uh, yes. Let's set a war crime before let anyone else know it. Let's have a dog know it. I must hurry my work. As well as find a fitting assistant. Okay. Permission granted. Buzz. Select from the below services. 1. Check visitor records. 2. Open incubator entrance. I'm gonna check visitor records. Madam Ron May. Buzz. Alien species. Buzz. Please specify the alien species. Man with plaster head. Buzz. Seems like there's something new. What? Permission granted. Buzz. Okay, we opened the thing. coming from above. Above? No chest? Oh, there is a chest. Nice. Oh! <gasps> Wait, who's that? There's someone in the distance. Who is that? Is that Dr. Rachel? <gasps> oh! Hmm. Here, a genius move. And how will you counter? Oh, what the? It? <sighs> Only an idiot would ask such a question. Just move this here. Hmm. Oh, were you playing by yourself? <sighs> you look distressed. 
Obviously, dude. Something the matter. Oh, you're a plaster head. <clears throat> if that's the case, you better get thinking. Ooh, I like the sand. Are you waiting for a sign? Time is ticking. Descend via the elevator. What you seek is there. Um, why is your head plaster, but the rest of your body is skin, and why do you have balls? Uh, you know what I'm looking for. Uh, who are you? Have you considered whether the answer to your question will be of any relevance to our current predicament? Yes. If a question is of no help, then don't ask it. Time is clearly precious to the both of us. Fine. <sighs> Never mind. Allow me to clarify something. I know exactly who you are. Creep. And I'm aware you are in Ron May's employ. Creep. This was not my intended destination. Weirdo. I just happened to find my way here during my visit and saw what she was up to. Fucking nosy ass bitch. My goals are roughly aligned with yours. Since you're here, I won't intercede. But should you fail, I will be forced to prevent some avoidable misfortunes. That's all you need to know. Just two paragraphs. Very effective communication. Hmm. Yes, I see. You're not a bad person after all. Why do you wear a... a, a why do you wear an alabaster head? Because I can't bear to see idiots. Of course, they wouldn't want to see me either. Okay. 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 What the fuck? The real Ron May's creation is hidden in the giant incubator below us. Go. Take the elevator and bear witness to this genius masterpiece. So this, we're going to see an Aminator. Where the fuck is Plasterhead? I know it's stopped the ratio, but why the fuck is he wearing a plaster? And I I know he explained himself because he doesn't want, doesn't want to see retards, but okay, I'm not gonna say that word. But he doesn't want to see those types of people, so you know, insults are insults and compliments are compliments, and he did one of them and not the latter. Ooh, is this an aminator? This is huge. The space station has an area this big? Damn. Okay, I need to prepare because they might want me to fight. Just gonna do this. Do Show this. Just in case. Just in case they might make me fight. Bro, there's so much animation in this one, one quest. Damn. I'm honestly happy by the amount of effort they're putting into this. Oh, honey. Is it Bro, why would you touch that unknowingly? Did I miss? Looks like I missed. An emanator of propagation clone? How can that be? Star Crusher Swarm King's Star Caps. Okay, I need to, Another sin to be read its name properly. Star Crusher Swarm King's Caracabaz Synthetic. Okay, thank God Ice is one of its weaknesses. Oh, what's that? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. Okay, one, one HP, we can do it, we can do it, we can, we, we could, we could do it, we, we could do it, we, we, we can, we can do it, we can, it's possible, it's possible, it's possible, don't freak out, don't freak the fuck out, don't, oh, 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 oh. I almost died. Okay, I might die. Okay, Dr. Ratio, please help me. Ron May, help me. Jesus Christ. Oh, 
creature was unable to sustain its own existence and vanished as if it had never been born. Hmm. The threat is over. Time to get going. Wait, so were, were you going to help me if I was gonna die? Is it over? Oh, they healed my party. I need to get some answers out of Run May. Oh, okay, okay. Honestly, that was fucked up. Very much so. I almost died. This area. What do you mean? Wait, can you please talk again? Cleaning in progress, please wait. Growth container fragments have been cleaned up. Uh, cleaned, waiting to execute. Okay, I don't care. Oh my god. Puffball! So? The meeting of geniuses is over. As for the future of the simulated universe, that conclusion isn't important. What's important is your task. Bro, what the fuck? I almost died. You look upset, correct? Yes. I regret my actions. Do you? There's no defending what I've done. Time and again, my experiments have fallen short, and they've always yielded predictable results. I made a clone, but it doesn't hold a candle to the emanator. It died on its own. <laughs> Fucking eat shit. Exactly as predicted. 56 seconds on the dot. You... You... You knew? Restrained by time and place. Its code of life could only be considered an incomplete attempt. I managed to replicate the moment it was born. However, it would soon disappear and be reduced to particles. Like every living being, it inevitably faced its demise as it journeyed towards the end. I find no fault in that. However, even the briefest life should have meaning. I want to know the limits of its capacity. It will indicate how far I've gone in a field completely incomprehensible to me. <laughs> and it was a minuscule step. Just as I had predicted. Bro, stop predicting and actually fucking help me, dude. It almost ate me. Are you, re are you going to keep researching? What about life outside research? Um, it almost- Okay, you know what? <laughs> Let's just be honest and be mad. I did say that if a danger proved too great for you, I would personally step in to confront it. Yeah, but you knew that it wouldn't last 56 seconds and you still did not come, so I think you knew that you weren't going to come either way. I must admit, I'm not fond of scenarios where everything aligns perfectly with my expectations. An experiment should have its unforeseen twists. Oh, uh, yes. That's where the joy lies. Even the most predictable storylines can have their pleasant surprises. Yeah, to be honest, World War II was a, was a surprise. You know, I did I did not expect Hitler to kill himself. I have to admit that these little ones born in the process sometimes move no! me. No, green, gray, paste, fucking I forgot what your name is. I see a human-like response in them. It is a concept completely opposite to that of divinity. They have... emotions. Dude, <laughs> Ruan Mei does not have a soul for leaving this cat and probably a dog alone. Emotions may be either positive or negative, however, the love rooted in the depths of their heart is eternal and unchanging. They are still a long way from becoming geniuses, and are therefore unable to discern whether this love is one of friendship, romance, or familial love. Probably for, probably you created them and looked up to you and you just ignore them, you know. It's it's a it's parental neglect. That being said, can even geniuses tell the difference? Probably. I cannot at least. I do not understand what love is and cannot respond to their feelings. Do you believe my actions were wrong? Yes, very much so. There's no need to tell me your answer. I just felt like asking the question. How should I take care of them? 
Perhaps leaving them at the space station is the best choice. Yeah, without you, that's going to be super dumb. They're going to start a cult or something. Do I seem irresponsible? Yes. I'm sorry. I am often at a loss as to how to face my own creations. The effects of the anti-truth serum will also wear off. If others mention me to you in the future, you can answer however you like. Or even pretend you never knew me. Okay. I would like to not know you because you are a supporter of parental neglect and I don't like that. After all, your memory of me will soon dissipate like smoke. Why? Memory dissipate why? Over time, hidden truths tend to surface. Past traumas, which I'd rather leave behind, have made me skeptical about trusting anyone but myself. You could also say you have trust issues because of trauma, you know. If I do not want a secret revealed, the most foolproof way is to destroy it. The anti-truth serum will make you forget the brief period we spent together. Oh, so you're just going to give me an, an amnesia bomb. It won't take effect immediately. It is a slow, intangible process. Like the sweet fragrance of lotus leaves, plum blossom, sticky rice, and frosting sugar. Perhaps you'll remember someone performed selfish experiments on the space station, but you will no longer remember their identity. Perhaps we'll meet again someday, but... You won't be able to connect me with the recollection. Hmm, too bad. I actually recorded this interaction, so I'm gonna remember it anyway, you idiot. That way, the connection between life forms will be erased. Friendships, secrets, grudges, lies. All will disappear. You know what also makes all of that disappear? Time, you know, friends die, friendships lost, secrets. People die, secrets lost. Grudges die because people die, grudges lost. Lies die because they're, I don't know, fucking truths or something. It will make our lives more relaxing. Hmm. If that is your witch, I will forget you. <laughs> no, I won't forget you. Not that those tits and ass. I believe you. Screwlem will stay on the space station for a while longer. He and Herta still have problems they need to solve. As for me... I'm leaving soon, and won't bother with goodbyes. Do you still remember the no man's land I mentioned? No. I'm considering a solo trip back there during my research downtime. Just to see how things are. Oh, no man. Okay, I remember now. Wait, no I don't. I miss member number 55 Yu Ching too sometimes. She used to always make something delicious for me to drink every time we parted ways. I hope I won't meet member number 4 Polka Kakamond. That would be quite troublesome. Who knows when the next gathering of geniuses will be? Do you have anything else you want to say to me? Um... Why is the plural of cactus cacti and not the plural genius genius gina? Okay, honestly, I heard my question now. It's so dumb. It's super dumb. Genius and genia I. Okay, uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, do you trust me now? I hope you'll come back and visit- Okay, um, I'm gonna ask this because I'm selfish as fuck. I find that difficult to answer. I thank you, Miss Assistant. You know you don't meant me as an assistant. You meant me as a dog. You, you, you saw me as expendable, so fuck off. If fate allows and you're interested, upon our next meeting, we could journey to no man's land and traverse its tranquil glaciers. I would like that. No, I suppose it wouldn't be no man's land anymore. What a conundrum. Ooh, dude, there's so much animation in this one. <sighs> Aww. <laughs> smile, smile. Huh? Let's go! You actually have a heart. No, you don't have a fucking heart. What the fuck is wrong with you, one way? Oh my god! Holy shit. Aww. Look at them hopping along. Ah, that's nice. Puffball! Oh, run, make, and visit. That's nice. What is that? 
Wait, what is this? An avatar. What, there's more to this shit? Okay, I'm gonna continue this because I believe the next one is going to be not long. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Ruan May can visit us, so I'm just gonna check. Because I don't know if this is going... is. Because I don't know if the next part is actually that long, but I'm just going to talk to Ruan May here. Isn't it wonderful? Through these windows, you can lose yourself in the peaceful starry sky. Uh, the stars are precious to us. Is that so? <laughs> I can relate. Trailblazing across the vast unknown must be quite the experience. <sighs> I once hoped to capture a slice of space and dissect it. To truly understand the core essence of our galaxies and planets. Okay, um, I don't think you can... Uh, slice space. I mean, you probably can. I don't know. I wonder what you'd find. I imagine a slice of clarity, ethereal in its transparency. Picture a sliver made up of beautiful dust, gases, and tiny specks twirling around your finger like a captivating plum colored mist. Bro, what's about you and plum? It reminds me of a ring. I imagine crafting it and then adding a bracelet of beads to complement its soft, lustrous glow. Huh. Welcome aboard the Astral Express. Thank you. I hope there are new discoveries to be made each time I visit. Probably, I don't know. I'm gonna continue this and hope to god it's not going to be that long. 